Last time we left off, Jumpston started being the crap of Dr. Meriton Austenberg until Shaggy Mo Purple came to give his final warning to everyone who even thinks of breaking the rules. While all of that was happening, Jumpstep was talking to C, well, a version of him at least. And surprisingly, Fekshi came to talk to Jumpstep out of all people. You know what? Fine, it's a deal. What do you want to know? Show up setbacks. Well, you see, I know all of the hooded figures very well. Star Trek's dimension eh, is a watcher of all dimensions. I don't really think she is interesting. She just sits back and watches others do amazing things. Her life is basically the equivalent of watching movies all day long and making sure nothing goes wrong. Nothing wrong happens. Then there's Miss Comic Relief, who is pretty busy right now, as well as Dr. Merit Ted Austenberg. And the Overlord, well, he's an Overlord, a tyrant, and I doubt he will be willing to give up any useful information for some of mine, so that leaves you, Fek, she said. Still didn't answer my question. Jacob Sepp was interrupted. I want to know simple stuff, like your childhood, your friends, maybe your relationship with the overlord. Stuff like that, Fek, she said. Oh, okay, well, if I tell you this, I want you to tell me more about your hooded figure friends. Deal? She up the backs. <sighs> Deal. Fact, she replied. So, my childhood feels like a million years ago. It was rough. My parents were killed right in front of me. Executed. At a young age, Jilip Sepp said. Oh, wow. Um, I'm sorry, I guess. God dang it, I'm so bad at things like this, Fekshi said. This is a huge change of character. Where is the arrogant know-it-all that always antagonizes the group, hmm? Jilip Sepp backs. Oh, shut up, he's still here. Fek, she said. Now, it's your turn, Shilapsip said. What do you mean? Oh, okay. Well, for my childhood, um, I used to be a little kid that was literally the opposite of who I am now. Respectful, kind, etc. I know, hard to believe. But then my father passed away. And my mom took it very badly. And then started to blame and take it all out on me. Even though I wasn't, I wasn't a part of his death at all. Fuck, she said. Oh, I'm so sorry for your loss. Jacob Sepp said. Oh no, it's okay. It's not your fault. I'm just glad he's in a better place now. In fact, she claimed. Um, let's change topic. Who were you talking to before we had this conversation? In fact, she asked. What? Oh, I wasn't talking to anyone. Jobs up claimed. Look, I saw you yell at, well, basically nothing. Hey, um... Do you have any mental issues or something similar? Fekshi asks. What do you mean yell? Fekshi? Mental issues? I don't have mental issues. At least none that I know of.
Why? Why does this matter? Jacob's up X. Is there someone else here if I actually X? What? Jacob's up X. Except for me and the quote unquote team arguing, do you see it someone else? If I actually X. How did you know? Jacob up X. I had experience or something similar. In fact, she responded. Okay, I am done. Please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you never miss a video. And hold on, let me let me just do this. Uh. So, I guess I'm giving out shoutouts now. I'll just do this. I just want to do one last thing. So, shout out to Shage Maru with all caps. Yeah, I appreciate the support. So, where is the shout out? Um, please. Hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you'll never miss a video. Because, well, from what it looks like, about 99% of my audience is not subscribed. Please, let's change that. Like, please. Hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell if you really enjoyed my content. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.